I'm at Somerset House to meet the woman who took the top award last night at what's known as the Oscars of the photography world. The title of World Photographer of the Year 2018 has gone to a Londoner. Alice Tomlinson is the first British winner for a decade and she overcame stiff competition from more than 300,000 other entries, would you believe? Wendy Hurrell has been to meet her. At Somerset House, 600 images of great diversity of landscapes, architecture, wildlife and people, all part of the Sony World Photography Awards. Last night was the ceremony where 15 photographers of different nationalities and in varying categories were given prizes. It was down to a former picture director at British Vogue to pick the winners from a record 320,000 submissions. It's quite fun, actually. It's like, it's like speed dating, <laughs> really, with pictures. Like that, don't like that. <laughs> you know. And that's what's interesting about good photography. It comes up to the top very quickly. And right at the top of the pile, these black and white shots of the still, quiet pilgrimage sites in Ireland, Poland and France. They were captured on a cumbersome Victorian camera. It takes a long time to set up the camera. You have to be very careful in terms of the composition. Alice is the first Briton to win the award in 10 years, and it's the first time she's entered this competition. To get this kind of recognition is wonderful, but it was a massive shock, yes. <laughs> I think I looked very stunned when they announced my name, and then I had to walk up to say a little speech, so I was very unprepared. Alice works in commercial photography for advertising and design agencies. I still feel that photography as an industry is, is heavily kind of male dominated, although I think that's beginning to change. And I also think women just need to be a lot more confident about our work, have much more belief in what we're doing. The award for portraiture went to another Londoner who took the last of the crooners as his subjects. Proper showbiz, old yeah. school showbiz. Yeah. These musicians perform each week at the Palm Tree Pub in Bow. Once upon a time in East London, you could walk down Roman Road and go into any number of pubs that would have jazz singers performing just to keep people in the pub, really. And, you know, demographics have shifted and times have really changed. And it just felt like the right time to document this scene that the palm tree has maintained really beautifully for 40 years. Thought-provoking imagery to sit and ponder. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.